So what is going on YouTube? My name is Mehul. Welcome back. And in this video, we're going to see how you can execute a command inside a running Docker container or basically how to get a shell inside a running container. So I think I have done this in the past, but I did not go over through what's happening. So let's just do it again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run uh, the same Docker Nginx image, which we have been running so far it in inside the detached mode. There we go. So now we have our Nginx running, but what happens now? Well, maybe I want to see what's going on in the container or maybe some sort of statistics or logs or whatever. So one way is to actually go inside that particular container and see what's happening. So when you're running a container and you do Docker PS, you're gonna get an output something like this, which would have a columns like container ID, image, command, stuff like that. So the thing you need is the container ID, right? So once you have the container ID, what you can do is you can say docker exec, that is execute. And what you want to execute is something which comes later. But what we want is we want a bash shell inside this particular container, right? So this is the container ID, which is uh, in which I want to execute. And what do I want? I want a bash shell. Hit enter and hmm, nothing happens. Well, why is that? Do you remember what happens if I write docker run ubuntu and if I write bin slash bash, which is, which is basically what I want, what I, what I, the process I want to run. You can see again, nothing happens is because docker is configured to run the process and exit it if it is done, right? So if you run bin bash, well, it executes the bash shell and nothing. It exits, right? What you want is you want to attach a terminal to it as well in an interactive terminal. And as you obviously need a pseudo terminal. So you do a run dash ist and then specify the image name and the command you want to run, right? So by default, Ubuntu runs bash anyway, so you can just omit that thing. On a very, very similar manner, this is how exec works. So I'm gonna exec this, but what I want is a terminal attached to it. And there we are. Now I'm actually inside the container, you can see it matches the container ID till here or here maybe whatever it is and now what I can just do is roam around the container see what's happening with nginx like what's the configuration file you know uh, whatever yeah stuff like this right so yeah I mean this is how you're gonna get into a running nginx container so you can just go ahead into I don't know where the logs are or logs maybe nginx yep and you know you can just listen for the access logs for example or maybe i don't know there are log whatever so the logs are not configured correctly but anyway so this is how you're going to go into a container mess around with stuff and get back into your host machine so yeah that's pretty much it for this video if you liked it don't forget to subscribe like the video thank you for watching and i'll see you then in the next one